Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're gonna to show you how to use your Amazon Smart Thermostat or the manual for the Amazon Smart Thermostat. So we've got our thermostat set up and installed here, and if you wanna know how to do that, check the links in the description below. We've got a video that shows that. Now, what our thermostat is currently showing is that it is 71 degrees in our home in this room where the thermostat is located. To control the thermostat, you've got three buttons, temperature down, temperature up, and mode. This middle button will scroll through modes on your smart thermostat. So let's click on that, and we can see that our Amazon smart thermostat is currently off. That means that it will not turn on for heating or cooling. It's just gonna be there, and it's not going to control anything. And we click again, and now the little fan symbol goes on. And that means that the fan is on, and it will circulate air throughout our house without the heating or cooling turning on. So in the fall or spring, it's nice to be able to circulate air throughout your house without your HVAC system going on and heating or cooling if you just wanna move air around the house a little bit. Now let's click again, and we've got a couple different modes. We're gonna come back to this. We're gonna go one more, we're gonna click again, we're gonna click again, and here we are at cooling. So that means that at 83 degrees, our cooling will turn on and we would have air conditioning. That's what this little snowflake means, that you're in cooling mode. And then up here, it tells you uh, with that little tree that you're at an energy set point that is going to help you save money and energy. So right around 75, you can see that little eco symbol disappears. So if you wanna save energy, set it over 75 degrees and you can see we're in air conditioning mode or cooling with that little snowflake. So let's click again. Now what happened here is the fan symbol turned on. And what that means is that at 75 degrees, your air conditioner is going to turn on and cool your house, but the fan will continue to circulate and run that air throughout your house even while your air conditioner isn't on. And that setting is available for both air conditioning and cooling, and the advantage of having the air conditioning on with the fan circulating is that when your air conditioner compressor is not running the high energy usage part of the system, that fan is gonna to continue to circulate the cool air throughout your house to get your house more evenly cooled. And the same concept can apply for heating more even heat distribution by having the fan on. So in here, we can change that set point up or down 75, 76, 71, whatever we want. And we're gonna click through to the next one. So now we are in the heat setting and if we had it here, our heat would turn on at 72. I can turn that up and down so we can have it so our heat will turn on at 68. Um, whatever you want here, it's just like the air conditioning except it's heat. So when you're in snowflake mode only or the fire mode only, heat mode, that means that it's only gonna heat or cool. So it automatically is not gonna go to heating or cooling when you've got it in this mode. It's only gonna do one or the other. So if you have the snowflake on, it's only going to cool. If you've got the fire flame on, it's only going to heat. So let's click through this again. And now that fan symbol popped up and that means that the fan is going to circulate air even when that heat is not running. So you can change that around whether you want heat or the heat and fan. I recommend the heat and fan to continue to circulate air for energy efficiency as well as to get your house evenly heated and cooled. So let's go to the next one here and we're back to off. And then there's our fan, which we already talked about. Now here's a little bit different screen here. What we've got here is our auto set points. And when you see this little A symbol, that means that the temperature on the thermostat and the control of the thermostat is automatically going to turn on cooling and or heat at these set points whenever you have it in A. So you have to choose a set point for both cooling and for heat. So right now we're in the cooling set point. So we're gonna change that one uh, to, let's just say 82. And then we would click again, and then we're gonna get to the heat set point for auto. So here I am in heat, and now I can change that set point um, to whatever I want, 70, 65, 63. So when you have the auto symbol, that means that the thermostat will automatically turn on heat at uh, 67, and then it'll turn on air conditioning 
at whatever we had for that snowflake set point or the cooling set point. So let's click through here again and we get that snowflake set point at 82. So our air conditioner is going to pop on. And then at 67, our heat is going to pop on. So it's nice to leave that in the auto setting if you want your air conditioning and heat to automatically turn on at certain set points. However, sometimes it can be confusing. So people like to just have the air conditioning mode or the heat mode uh, in the summertime or the heat mode in the winter time. So you can choose between heat and or cooling without the auto set point. So then it's really simple. You just click up or down. Now we've gone through pretty much all of the settings on the in-person thermostat. Now we're going to take a look at our phone and see what settings we can change there on the app and some of the customization we can do on the phone. All of the things that we just did on the thermostat, controlling it with the touch points and our fingers, you can do on the phone, but you can do even more on the phone. So here's the home screen for the thermostat on the Amazon ALEXA app once we've got this set up. And you can see we're currently in cool mode. And here you can change the temperatures up or down. And you can actually scroll right through here uh, with those temperatures for whatever set point you want. And then it's going to change on the device. And you can see up here we've got that eco symbol for saving energy when we're over certain set points. And then down at the bottom here, it shows us our humidity levels. Now, if I wanna change the mode, I can go here and it's a little bit simpler on the phone. I can decide between turning it off right there, or I can turn it to heat or cool or auto. And if I go to auto here, I'm gonna be able to choose my set points just like I chose my set points earlier except it's a little bit easier here. You can really easily visually see when I change those set points uh, to whatever I want with the auto set point. So my heat will turn on at 62 and my air conditioning will turn on at 85 and we can just move that to whatever we want there. Now, if I wanna get into some of the more complex operations with the thermostat, I click up here on the gear symbol in the upper right hand corner. And here I can edit the name and we've also got the second option down here, fan. It says auto, and that means the fan's automatically going to run when it's heating or cooling. For most people, your fan's automatically going to run regardless if you choose this. And that's just because that's how HVAC systems are typically set up. However, you have a couple other options here. You've got that circulate option here. You can have it circulate air uh, periodically throughout the time that you've got your heating or cooling on and at a set point, or you can have this so that it runs continuously. It's always running the fan. So I think probably the good middle ground is just put it on circulate and it's intermittently going to run and that's gonna even out the temperatures in your home. And if that's not doing it for you, you can always bump it up to on uh, right there and it's gonna keep your fan continually on. Now, the thing about running it more is that it is gonna equalize the temperatures in your house. However, you will probably go through air filters quicker because you're pushing more air through your home. And there is a chance that you're putting a little bit more wear on the fan, but not that much. The next menu item we're gonna click on is ALEXA Automatic Control. Here we've got two options, setting a sleep temperature and an away temperature. You can toggle these on or off. We're gonna to toggle that on for the sleep temperature and then click next. The sleep temperature is designed to go down to a lower temperature to help you sleep as well as save a little bit of energy. And here you've got your home temperature you can set. So we could set that uh, to whatever we want here. We'll leave it at uh, 71 then. And then we're gonna put our sleep temperature down lower. You could put it almost right there if you wanted, but they do say it's better for you to sleep at a cooler temperature, but everyone is different there. But we're gonna click next, and then we're going to click through here. It says, if ALEXA has a hunch that everyone went to bed, she can adjust the thermostat to promote better sleep and adjust the temperature. So we can just click done here, but we can also click down here on energy while we're away. We're gonna click on that, and it says, ALEXA can help you save energy while you're away. And this is where you can set that away temperature. So we're gonna click next. And then it says it needs your preferred temperatures, location access, and confirm your home address. We're gonna click next here. And we've got our home temperature. And then we can click that away temperature too. So I'm gonna put my away temperature down lower. And you can put it to whatever you want, whatever is comfortable for you. If you've got pets, make sure you don't turn it down too low. 
or make sure that they're still gonna be comfortable. Here, we're gonna click next. And then it says confirm your home address. So it's gonna show you your home address here and you can just click this and confirm. And then it says thermostat hunches are ready. If Alexa has a hunch that nobody is home, she can adjust the temperature to save energy. So we're just going to click done here. And now it says, uh, Alexa set your thermostat to preferred temperature. Did Alexa do this right? We're just gonna say yes for right now. And then we're gonna go up here, set up remaining hunches. Uh, you can turn off the lights when you're asleep. You can turn off plugs and switches. It works with all your other devices. But what we wanna do is we wanna go back to our thermostat here. So I'm just gonna click on devices and uh, I'm gonna go to my thermostat here and click on what I've got. And then we're back to this main home screen. So let's click back in there and let's go into Alexa automatic control. And now we've got our sleep temperature and away temperature set. And we can click here on our preferred temperatures. These automatically set up when we went through those sleep away and home. So you've got uh, your heat mode, cool mode and auto mode. So for each one of those, you can toggle these up or down uh, when you've got it in heat, cool or auto and whatever you want your away temperature or sleep temperature to be. And why these are important is because you're gonna use these temperatures to set a schedule if you wanna do that. So we're just gonna click back here. We've got our cool mode. I could go in there and adjust these up or down, whatever I wanted. And you've got your auto mode here. And then you've got uh, set points for heating and cooling in auto mode because it's automatically gonna flip between the two. So let's go back here. Let's go back again. And now let's click on thermostat schedule. And here I've got my schedule down below and I can click on any day and you can see why those temperatures were important. Uh, when I click on the day, I can change the time. So let's just change this to eight o'clock and then you could change it to whatever you want. But then you go here and you can click home, away or sleep. That's the three different temperature modes here that you've got. So let's say I leave at eight o'clock, I would put that in away mode. And if I was going to sleep at eight o'clock AM, I would put that in sleep mode, but I'm gonna put it to home mode. Uh, I'll put it to away mode, like I'm going to work uh, at that time. And then I'm just gonna X out of this and click save. So you can go through that and you can change these uh, to away, home, or sleep. So right now it's got our away. It's gonna set us to away mode when we go to work at eight. And when we get back at 6 p.m., it's gonna set it to that temperature that's more comfortable. We've got it at 70 degrees there. And then we've got our sleep temperature, which is a little bit cooler at 10 p.m. And you could change this. Uh, let's say you go to sleep at nine or uh, 9.30, you could click there and then you're gonna save that. And you can do that for each one of these days. So you can change uh, all the days. You just click on the day right there. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Saturday, you can go all the way through there and select whatever you want. Now, I don't have my thermostat schedule currently on. I like to use it manually, but it is nice to use a schedule. So if you wanna use a schedule, just click right through there and then that's gonna click okay. It disables that automatic hunches that you've got there and then sticks to the schedule rather than that away or uh, sleep temperatures automatically being detected by the Amazon Alexa smart thermostat. So now we could go over here and uh, we've got one other option here, pre warm and cool. And what that means is that it's going to adjust your temperatures in advance. So if you get home at 6 p.m., it's gonna be exactly whatever that temperature set point is at 6 p.m. rather than turning the HVAC system on at six. So if you don't wanna to come to a cold house, so if you don't wanna come home to a cold house or too hot of a house, it's ideal to leave that pre warm or cool on and you can just toggle right through that. So let's go back here and uh, we can go in here and adjust some more stuff. You've got your energy dashboard. Uh, what it's gonna show you is how much energy you've used uh, per day and when you've used it and give you some helpful insights here. Uh, I haven't had this one connected long enough uh, to have the information in there. I have had it connected for a long time, but what happened is I reset it for another video. Um, so I don't know exactly what it's on there. But you click on here and you'd click on your HVAC and then you're gonna have uh, more information that's gonna be populated. It just gives you a good idea how much energy you're using and you can go through that when you want. Now let's click down here on our thermostat configuration. 
Uh, here you can change between Fahrenheit and Celsius, uh, miles and kilometers. I don't know why you need miles or kilometers uh, for your HVAC system, but they have it in there. Uh, your temperature range, you can set a max and min temperature. Uh, so maybe you've got kids at home that play with this all the time. You can set that max and min uh, so that it won't go below those temperatures or above those temperatures. And then uh, you're going to be able to make sure that your pipes don't freeze or it doesn't get too hot for a pet uh, or whatever you want there. Here, you've just got the display brightness. I do recommend uh, turning these all the way up. Uh, it is kind of hard to see this a lot of times. So I'm gonna put it all the way up for both active and inactive. Uh, and that's really better also for the video. It's kind of hard to uh, view this sometimes. So we've got both those all the way up. And then we're gonna go back here. And then you've got your Wi-Fi network, HVAC type. You're not really gonna go through any of this stuff uh, right here unless you're setting it up. So go back and then you've got a couple other options here, your energy savings incentives. I do recommend that everyone go through this uh, at least once. Depending on your energy provider, you can enroll in programs that are gonna help you save some money and energy. Uh, it's called a demand response program. So different parts of the country and different utility providers offer different incentives through this. And you can just click through there and then you're gonna to have to enter your information for your account number and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but it is worth trying to see if you're gonna get any kind of rebate savings. I did enroll in one of these, uh, not with this Amazon smart thermostat, but with another brand of smart thermostat. And I had pretty significant savings. It was like 30 or $40 a month and it didn't change anything. Uh, with my temperature set points. Uh, it was just part of that program. So we're gonna go back here and then you've got a couple other options here, uh, air filter notifications. And what you can do here is be automatically notified uh, when you need to change that filter. Uh, you just put in when it was last replaced and then your consumption history. And then uh, it's gonna automatically populate when you, should when you should replace that filter or give you a reminder. So we're gonna click out of that there. You've got a couple other options down here, your energy estimator, and then everything below that is just serial numbers and stuff that uh, you really can't do that much with. So we're gonna scroll back up to the top and we're gonna go back to our HVAC system. And uh, that's pretty much all we've got for this smart thermostat. So we showed you how to set up a schedule. We showed you how to turn it on and off change between heating and cooling or auto modes and adjust your temperatures. So I prefer to use the app because it's easiest. Now, probably one of the biggest selling points of this is that it does work with ALEXA, which means that it works with voice commands. So I've got this set up to a really weird name. Uh, I'm just gonna set it up uh, something different so it's easier. So we'll call this one smart thermostat and click done. And what that means now is that I can use ALEXA commands to control this and set the temperature. So let's try that right now. Alexa, set smart thermostat to 81. Thermostat is set to 81. And you can see the temperature changed right here on the smart thermostat and it changed right here on the app. So let's try it once again. Alexa, set smart thermostat to cooling. It's set to cool. And now it changed us over to cooling and whatever our set point is, so we could change that uh, temperature with our voice if we wanted to, or we could do it by hand, or we could do it on the app. So. You don't need to do anything to get it to work with ALEXA. It will automatically work with ALEXA once you set it up on the app. And we've got a description of how to set this all up and install it if you're having any problems with that. So check that down below. We've got another video that shows you everything you need. So thank you for watching this video on how to use your Amazon Smart Thermostat or the Amazon Smart Thermostat Manual. Please subscribe, give us that thumbs up. And if you wanna support us, Subscribing is the most helpful thing you can do, but you can also check down in the links below, click on any of that stuff, and it is much appreciated. See you next time, and we hope you enjoy this video.